What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with stage 9 of the Giro d'Italia and as you can see on screen we have an exceptionally exciting stage today. The Paso Gotti, the first categorised climb of the day. We then head to the Forca Caruso. Intermediate sprint up to the Ovendoli. It should be a really difficult climb there but then the finish in Campo Felice is super difficult because we have a steep gravelled run to the finish and this should be a massive day in the GC. Away we go then for what should be a brilliant stage at today's race but I will say the climbs aren't super steep today which does mean we may not have the biggest GC battle of all time but I do want to try and go in the breakaway here. Let's try and get Ruben Guerrero up the road even though he's on a pretty poor day. I am still doing previews of the race. Um, I'll drop a link to my Twitter in the comments below because I think Ruben Guerrero could actually win today's stage. Here's my prediction. Um, and yeah, I'm doing daily stage preview, so you can check them out at that link down below. So I do believe we could have a breakaway victory in real life yet again today. We've had a breakaway win four out of four of the mountain stages in real life. And I do think Alberto Bessio is suited to going up the road today. So let's try and move up the roads with him right here and try and get three riders in today's break. So it seems we could have the first really high power breakaway up the roads at this Giro on our playthrough here. You can see some of the guys trying to get in. Quinton Hermans is here. Bessio has made it. Groschartner as well. Lawrence Narsen is here. Volta, the pink jersey in real life. We've got three riders here though. So we do have some suitable strength, even though our guys aren't on the best race days ever. Oh, and we've had a massive moment. Massive moment in the race. Jens Kukulé has gone down, but so has Marc Soler and the Maglia Rosa. Egan Bernal is down. And Marc Soler... He does continue just about, but of course, we're not going to work here with Egan Bernal. And surely the Ineos Grenadiers are going to drop all of their team now back to help. So a Movistar, and this could only increase the rhythm now in the main peloton with some riders trying to kill the Maglia Rosa. Look at this sportsmanship. So look at this situation, guys. Marc Soler at the foot of the Paso Gotti is last in the race. Egan Bernal at the back of this huge Ineos train. Kukler can just come to the back with Egan Bernal. That should be okay right there but Puccio trying to press on and everyone in the peloton is pressing on who are the culprits we have Arashiro bike exchange Trek Segafredo as well really trying to put Bernal out the back but the tempo remains super high all across the race Julius Vandenberg will soon go out the back and still Igan Bernal and Salvatore Puccio are trying to chase back in I wonder how much this could affect Igan Bernal surely he will get back in on this climb or soon after but how tired is he going to be? And same for Marc Soler. But here to the front of the race, we are about to cross the Paso Gotti. I wonder if it's worth trying to go for some of these KOM points. And Betio should be a good lead out here for Ruben Guerrero. Let's both try and get some points with both of these guys. They both can be candidates for the Maglia at Zera. And we both cross in some of the first positions right there. Let's check. We were second and third. And Volta's lead is very narrow. So look at this. Kukulé is now done for the day. Soler is still not in. And he is struggling, you know. He is struggling. Egan Bernal has made it back in with the help of the Ineos Grenadiers. I wonder how that is going to change this race. Pippo Ganna has just fallen in this descent as well. It's not been a good day at all for the Grenadiers so far. So we're now on the Forca Caruso. I really hope Damiano Caruso is thinking of an attack on this climb. Otherwise... I'm not sure what he's playing at at this Giro d'Italia, but 21 riders remain at the front of the race. We'll put Guerrero to Betiol's wheel and still a very high tempo, but still under four minutes to the Pelson. I mean, the Pelson are chasing the breakaways so, so aggressively at this race in this playthrough so far. We're in a good position though. And you can see a couple riders are at the back, but no one really of note is here. Now we are seeing the Pelson start to shatter just a little bit down to 80 riders. Right now, we're just trying to conserve. We're not thinking of an attack just yet in this race, despite having a couple riders up the road. Let's try and move up. Maybe go for this KOM as well. There goes Atia Volta, trying to keep his Malia at Zera for another stage at least. Betio in the wheel. Here comes Ruben Guerrero as well. We're a bit too far back this time, but hopefully a couple points at least. No, we're out of position. Not going to be the best if we get any points there. And now Pavel Sivkov, obviously DNF the race in real life. He has been dropped due to the rhythm. 58 riders over the top of this climb. The Ovenzoli is the most difficult climb yet. It's up next as well. So 11 riders remain at the front of this race and they may fight for the stage. We have Felix Groschartner, Stora, Champoussin, Quinton Herman, some very good riders here. Atia Volta as well. Ruben Guerrero 
is our man and Betio will try and pull but the, the Peloton are just chasing so so hard still. So Gianluca Brambia is the man leading the Peloton into the Ovendoli climb and I wonder how many riders will be left after this. Average of 5% but 14 kilometers and of course still the super super difficult final climb awaits. Said champion son attacks he doesn't seem to be. Okay, and here we go, here we go, because Giulio Ciccone attacks eight minutes down in the GC. He's not really a GC threat right now in this race, but let's see how everyone reacts to this. So, so aggressive, of course, is Giulio Ciccone, and he's showing that again right here. Oh my, what is going on here, guys? What is going on? Because Remco Evenepoel is trying an attack. On the Oven Dolly climb, I can't believe this. I simply cannot believe this. We need to follow, though, with Hugh Carthy, Caicedo, and Carr are struggling to look after our big Brits now as well. And surely the guys up the road are going to be caught now because of this. Let's see. But Carthy does remain, does he, with the guys? No, he has just been dropped for now. We're going to have to push up by ourselves. In fact, I will do this instead. I'll drop Betio to help out Hugh Carthy. We are back, though, with the main guys. Groshart now has been dropped. Let's just try and take position. And Betio is going to have to look after Hugh Carthy right here. He's pretty done. But he just to the front. What is Remco doing? Pressing on so aggressively as Guerrero has been dropped as well to the top of this climb. And I can tell you we have many, many riders out the back. Emmanuel Bookman is dropped somewhere here. Hindley is struggling as well. And Ruben Guerrero is struggling to get to the front of this race here. We'll try and stay with these guys. But at the front, Atia Volta holds a 30 second lead. Guerrero can't really work in this group. We're pretty much done. But just behind is a 17 rider peloton as Bessio has done as well. What a shame. Carthy now alone. But I must say, Carthy does look okay here. So do we try something before the road pitches uphill? I don't know. 15 riders are in this group. I'm not sure. Do we try it? Let's do it. Hugh Carthy on the left-hand side of the road tries to kick away from this group. Guerrero can sit up for him. And this is such an aggressive move from Hugh Carthy. Not quite sure what we're doing here or if it's going to work. Doesn't seem it is either. So oh, I think I've messed up here. So instead, Carthy will sit here. Bessio can maybe just protect Carthy. That's probably the best aim right here. I think Guerrero has the stage though. Oh, sorry. I think Atia Volta has the stage from the breakaway. Guerrero can't really chase behind. We'll watch the GC group carefully. Now we have the likes of Felix Groschant and Pozzo Vivo coming back on. I think Soler and Bookman, they're still behind this group though. So I will pull a little with Bessio. We'll see what other teams do. Very aggressive race so far for some of the guys. Guerrero not really getting any help in this group. Let's try it. Let's try and attack with Ruben Guerrero up to Atia Volta ahead of the final climb. It's going to be very, very difficult here. Let's try and push on those two of Volta's wheel. No tempo still in the group behind. We have made it to Atia Volta, but the guys continue attacking. Let's get in the wheel of Hermans. Volta has been caught and passed. Victor Campanets attacking on this hill. Unbelievable stuff as Guerrero now at the front of the race with five, six, seven k to go. Seems like we may have a little truce among the GC guys until we reach that final climb as Guerrero struggling a little to stay with these guys into the final 5k. And we're now on the devastating final climb. Not sure if Ruben Guerrero is going to have the strength there to try and win this stage. Shampoo Sans, Cepeda, Campanets, and Quinton Hermans are all there. Volta and Chicone are still here as well. Now we're seeing moves in the GC group. Carthy needs to press on very aggressively whilst trying to wait for that final climb. And here we go. Bernal is up the road. There goes Balcom Olimar. Let's jump in his wheel. Up the road. Guerrero is really struggling, really struggling here. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to win this stage. Molima is done. Let's try another little kick with Hugh Carthy to try and join Igan Bernal. But oh my word, this is so, so difficult. 2K to go for Guerrero up the roads and the GC guys are coming. We're going to pull him back. We're going to pull him back. We're going to have to try and help Hugh Carthy into the final 2K. Here we go then, final kilometre of this race. Carthy up to 93. Bernal is flying. I'm pretty sure the GC guys will actually take this stage. And look at Carthy, really struggling, grinding to the line. Guerrero wouldn't have been strong enough for the stage. Look at Bernal press on. Clermont Champisan wins to Campo Felice. Cepeda and Campanets trying to block Egan Bernal. George Bennett very strong today. Hugh Carthy pretty good as well among the main GC guys, I would say. Remco is here. Lance Ander is here too. Molima, Formolo, Bardet struggling as well. But who has been dropped? We have Vlasov losing big, big time as Alex Vlasov today. Unbelievable stage. Bilbao too 
Izagiri. Further back, we have Soler as well. Bookman as well, maybe losing the Giro d'Italia. Even further behind, Vincenzo Nibali, La Squalo. He is going to be over five minutes down. Same for Gianni Moscon, who was a top 10. Martinez, Gino Meda. This has been a brutal, brutal stage for sure. Well, 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 Igan Bernal just looks too good. Even though he was dropped early on after crashing, he is the best of the GC contenders. George Bennett, very strong as well. But Clemon Champisan wins to Campo Felice. Hugh Carthy did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with our day. We gained time on most of the other GC contenders. So we can't be too disappointed. Whereas the likes of Emmanuel Bookman probably lost the Giro today. So new GC then. Igan Bernal still in the lead. We're still in fourth place, but very close between us, Simon Yates and Mikel Lanza. Then it's a little gap back to the likes of George Bennett, Remco, Formolo, Martin, Mollema and Vlasov rounding out the top 10. And like I said, Bookman now down to 14th place. He'll be very disappointed with his stage today. So will Mark Soler. Zolo in the Ciclamino jersey. We have Champisan just in the Maglia at Zero. Very close is this competition. Two points separate the top three and the Ineos Grenadiers are in the lead of the Movistar classification and that is all ahead of a sprint stage stage 10 into Foligno and I think this is another great chance for the sprinters obviously can we maybe do anything going to be difficult as we know Dalberto Betiol or Jens Kukalev will give it our best though but if you enjoyed today make sure you smash that like button drop a sub if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one